What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new WWE action figure news, man. And it's actually very good because this Wednesday, they are going to be announcing and putting up a brand new WWE action figure gallery to WWE.com. So there's going to be a brand new photo gallery. We're, of course, going to cover it here on the channel. I don't know if it'll be Wednesday or Thursday morning. It'll either be Wednesday late afternoon or it will be Thursday morning. We'll jump on here and talk about all of it, of course, here. Break down the images and such. And it should be a fun time. Can't wait to see exactly what it is I'm sure I mean I know we know a lot of the figures that are coming but hopefully we'll see some official images of Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns maybe Asuka maybe some other things going on there and I'm really excited to showcase those images and of course break all of it down here on the channel of course with you as we always do so that'll be a really fun video can't wait for that but nonetheless today we have some brand new action figure news regarding some of that stuff maybe that we may see on Wednesday or whenever that gallery goes up that day and so action figure attack Steve Ozer did go over to the WWE action figure forums of the you know the wrestling figure forums and he was answering some questions and we got a little bit of news out of there today and I wanted to cover it here today so let's shut the hell up and dive into it and start off with this first question somebody says here they say hello Steve will a figure be moved up or will ultimate edition 20 only be two people Roman Reigns and Asuka and while I say Roman Reigns and Asuka may be in that photo gallery I'm sure we'll see Bobby Lashley Kurt Angle figures of that nature that we know are coming Bianca Belair probably all going to be in there elite maybe 105 106 image Stuff like that, of course, which, I mean, I think Elite 105 has already been shown, but nonetheless, this question here, he answers it, and he says, We've added a Greatest Hits Ultimate as a replacement. We had to go with a figure with existing tooling due to the timing, more to come. So, I di what's very weird about this answer here is they're replacing the Bray Wyatt Ultimate Edition with a Greatest Hits Ultimate. Now, I don't know, like, that could literally mean so many different things here. So, there's a couple ways you could look at this, this answer here, and the first way you can look at it is, that they've, they're taking an existing Greatest Hits figure. Now, that is going to be, there's only four figures, right, I think, right? There's only four figures that have seen Greatest Hits or Greatest of or Best of Ultimate Edition action figures. We saw Bret Hart and Triple H. We saw Stone Cold Steve Austin and Ultimate Warrior, and I'm pretty sure those are the only two waves we've seen a Best of. And then there's another way you could look at it, in which, is it an upcoming Greatest Hits? Is it an upcoming Best of? Is it a newer figure replacing the Bray Wyatt? Is it a newer Best of? Like a, a Best of that we don't know about yet, meaning is it a best of of a previous Ultimate that is re-releasing is what I'm trying to say. So either A, it's going to be a previously released Greatest Hits, and he says we've added a Greatest Hits Ultimate as a replacement. We had to go with a figure with existing tooling due to the timing, more to come. So that is what's weird. Is it very weird to kind of speculate there? I don't know exactly what it is, and he even further clarifies this in another question, which we're going to get into. I just think that it's crazy because, you know, getting a Greatest Hits figure plugged in there for the Bray Wyatt figure... I know that timing and issues like that, would you, like, I guess it's better because they can fill in a hole there that maybe people missed out on and things of that nature where, you know, at least we're adding another figure here to this wave, even if it is something that a lot of people have already seen. But I know that a lot of people have their mixed feelings about the best of Ultimate Edition. I just don't feel like they've really been out long enough to be considered that, but I digress. That's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. That, that's a 20 minute discussion we can get into on that, but very interesting development nonetheless. And then somebody goes on to say, in response, response to this. So it shows his response. We've added a Greatest Hits Ultimate as a replacement. We had to go with a figure with existing tooling due to the timing more to come. And then this person quotes Steve and says, why are simple repaints not considered in this instance? Seems like a missed opportunity to me. This list is endless of repaints you could do rather than reissuing everything all the time. Thoughts? So same questions we've had, right? You're reissuing the same damn figure over and over again. What is the, what is the point of this? And Steve says, if there was time, we would have done that in this case. We do need to be mindful of product arriving on time for retailer needs, plantogram resets, etc. New deco would require deco creation, approvals, packaging, creation, and full development to ensure it's produced accurately, essentially almost full timetable, new sculpts and tooling to create and produce. So a lot to unpack there. Obviously he's saying he would love to do repaints, but that would be an entirely brand new figure, which in this case they can just redo the figure straight off because it's already been pre-approved. It's already been pre-done. You know, the factory can whip it up because they already have everything existing. Now, I, can, I for one will be very bummed out out if it's just going to be the same greatest hits figures we've seen if it's the ultimate warrior like the series one if it's the stone cold steve austin if it's the bret hart or the triple h that will be bummy to me that'll be like damn we've already seen these not once but twice but thrice 
price in this case if they were to redo that. I saw a rumor going around. I guess it's not technically a rumor. I saw some rumblings going around that it could be the TakeOver Fan Central Hulk Hogan, which would be, you know, the WrestleMania 9 with the, with the black eye and things of that nature, which is another figure that would be like, Jesus Christ, don't, are you serious? And it obviously can't be somebody like Jeff Hardy, right? It can't be a Jeff Hardy figure. They're not going to do The Rock with that new Target exclusive Legend coming out. Maybe a John Cena. I could, like, potentially see that. Maybe the Demon Finn Balor with a new torso. But they just said... He did say that they had to go with a figure with existing tooling due to the timing. More to come. So, I guess technically it could be Finn Balor. The Demon Finn Balor figure. But on the Seth Rollins Ultimate Torso with the butterfly joints and the ripped up stomach. Which would be absolutely incredible. That would be badass. Now, if it does that, that'll compl I'll completely throw everything out the window. But I'm not going to get too ahead of myself. That would be insanity. But very interesting developments nonetheless. Replacing the Bray Wyatt Ultimate with a Greatest Hits figure. Again, don't... Not, like, we're, we're going to have to wait and see. We're going to have to wait, play the waiting game on this. See exactly what they're meaning by that. But... We do have some more info here. Somebody here says, is the Target Ultimate Warrior still coming? And it just says it's still coming. So it's like Deion Sanders in this hoe. Still coming out, the Target Ultimate Warrior. Figure looks like a beast. Very impressed with this Ultimate Warrior Ultimate Edition. You guys know that this is, what, his third or fourth Ultimate now. So he's had his share of Ultimate Editions. They look good. And this one actually may be my favorite Ultimate Warrior they've done for Ultimate Edition with the you know the updated skin tone and the bright colors and everything. This, this figure actually looks really sweet. I'm really looking forward to this, but I got to get my hands on that damn rock figure six days from now i will be going to my target and trying to get that rock figure and that is just the end of the day hopefully i will be able to purchase it if you guys missed our pain and suffering toy hunt definitely go check that out but let's move on to the next question and somebody asked is the deco on the wrestlemania elite rock the wrestlemania 40 elite rock going to be changed to his actual wrestlemania 28 attire and if it is can the other attire still be released in a different line with the same goatee head skull because if you guys were unaware they did they are releasing that wrestlemania 40 elite rock it had the wrong deco at san diego comic-con but steve says the deco was unable to be altered versus what was shown at sdcc we can certainly revisit a rock with that head sculpt and different logos on his trunks down the road and this is easy. They're absolutely going to put this rock figure in a top talents wave. Uh, I mean, this is going to be such an easy repaint. They're they're absolutely going to do this, especially if The Rock comes back for Mania. I've seen him, you know, rumblings of him at Rumble, you know, getting the match with WrestleMania, at WrestleMania with Roman Reigns to put over the Tribal Chief, you know what I'm saying? So I could absolutely see them doing this in this instance where we're going to get this exact figure in the right trunks in the top talents line later down the line and we'll probably get his wrestlemania gear like they're gonna push out these rock figures but yes that rock figure while it does look impressive and i think it is a damn good rock figure especially for a modern take on rock that brand new head sculpt all the good things about that figure they did give us the wrong deco and it is upsetting because if this figure couldn't be redone does that mean other figures couldn't be redone that we saw at san diego comic-con right like you know the Shawn michaels figure the tights are supposed to be brown and they're black like there's so many different things there man and I hope that the Rock figure was just one of those that couldn't be done, you know, fixed and done. But hopefully Shawn Michaels was able to escape there and get, you know, what he needed to be done. Because I did not like that Shawn Michaels figure. Of course, we did ask them about that directly. So hopefully, you know, those things do get adjusted. But we will have to see about that. But the Rock figure will not be changed. And then the last question was the same thing about the Ultimate Edition. So the, the, the Greatest Hits Ultimate Edition figure, what that exactly means. You know, why wasn't it a repaint? That was the last question on the thing. I just wanted to loop it in with the first question. But I am very very interested to know exactly what that entails and like what figure it is i would love to know down below what figure you hope it is and do you think it is a pre-existing greatest hits ultimate or do you think it's going to be a newer greatest hits ultimate because that's what's so confusing about that answer we've added a greatest hits ultimate as a replacement okay does that mean existing greatest hits that's already came out or does that mean a one that y'all deemed greatest hits and put it in there so that's that's really the question at the end of the day but that remains to be seen, of course. But if it's that Demon Finn Balor, man, I'm, I, that would be absolutely unbelievable. That may be the best demon action figure ever made of Finn Balor. Nonetheless, that's going to wrap this video up, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on all of this. Who do you think is the greatest hits ultimate that he's referring to and what your stance is on all of those things. But a huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. Been updating them on the office. And uh, it's safe to say the pink is up. We put the pink on there. Long way to go with everything going on, man, but we have to get 
get it done. I'd like to have my office fully set up before October 1st, if that is even possible. So th this week is huge for me. Huge week for me in the office. Got to get in there, got to grind it out, get all the things set up, all the things put up. It's going to be an insane week. On top of that, we ha I have so much other things going on. So nonetheless, man, I'm going to shut the hell up and get the hell out of here so I can get some of that stuff done. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on everything down in the comment section below. I'll see you guys later. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.